at a seven. So now this one is in balance. Now we'll take a look at the 9,500. And there's a similar thing here where we got the short-term uh, notes payable. Short-term notes payable should be the 10,000. It's here at 1,000. So that's the point of the double entry accounting system. We're gonna put a zero. And that is gonna help us to make sure that our worksheet here is gonna be in balance. So now we're looking for another 500. We're off 500. And that's gonna be our retained earnings. So retained earnings was 225,500. So I'm just gonna double click here and add that 500. Okay, so that gives us something in balance. That gives us a pretty good indication that our worksheet is working now. Now we're gonna add one more twist to this worksheet. This is what we would use in an indirect method. We're gonna add one more twist here because um, what we wanna do is break out this retained earnings because when we look at uh, into the income statement components of it, uh, because we're gonna use those temporary accounts in order to create the, uh, the operating section of the statement of cash flows. So again, this is another way that we're gonna kind of have to deconstruct these financial statements back to a trial balance so that we have a worksheet that's easiest to use and that's a good practice for us. So how do I get, I mean, how 